This segment is brought to you by Fashionable Gear. You can visit fashionablegear.net or reach out to the homie Derek Howard, the founder and CEO. Fashionable Gear. That's where you see the drip. Your boy hook you up. As a matter of fact, if you go to the website right now, you can see exclusive offers. He has a new Black Wall Street line that's coming out. That's going to be phenomenal. My boy is in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but he's nationwide. So visit fashionablegear.net for all your apparel needs. Langston University saved my life. And let me explain what I mean by that. I had enrolled into Langston. Um, you know, I, I, I had to take some summer classes. Um, and so I, I enrolled in a, in a college algebra class. My instructor uh, was Miss Showalter. So all you at LU, y'all know about Miss Showalter. She was my, my teacher. Now, I didn't even have enough money to pay for my books, um, nor my tuition. I didn't have a scholarship to go to Langston. I just up. Uh, impulsive decision to go up and move to Langston during the summertime, which was the worst time to be at Langston. For those of you who know about Langston University in Oklahoma, it's near Guthrie. Guthrie is the closest city. And then there's Stillwater. But I was at Langston in the summertime, hardly nobody there at all. I remember I had this broke down minivan. To this day, my wife makes fun of me in that van, but that was my only mode of transportation. And so um, I went to Langston and just had just a little bit of stuff to move in. And so at the time, the president, Dr. Holloway, who was a fraternity brother of mine, uh, really helped make me make that helped me make that transition to Langston. And so, again, like I said, I had no scholarship. I had to take um, out a student loan um, just to pay for the classes. I didn't have money. I didn't even have enough money for the book uh, for my college algebra class. And so um, I got all moved, moved in. I stayed in the dorms at Bro Hall. Uh, Bro Hall ain't even there anymore, but <laughs> Bro Hall was like the, the, the lowest of the low um, door of the dorms there in, in Langston. And so I was there summertime. Mind you, there was hardly any students at Langston during the summertime. And so I was there. I remember being in my dorm room just contemplating life decisions, man. I, I had no idea what I was doing with my life. I remember I would go out, get out of the dorm room and just walk around the campus at Langston. Like I said, hardly was nobody there. And I remember go sitting at this pond um, there on campus and just sitting there and just crying my eyes out because I didn't, I didn't have a cell phone. Um, I didn't have no main means of communication. I didn't have a computer. I didn't have nothing, literally nothing. And I remember sitting at that pond, crying my eyes out and just asking God, what 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 is the purpose for my life? Why am I here? Why am I on this earth? And, and I'll never forget it. I remember sitting at that pond and I heard God clear as day saying, I've called you for such a time as this. And I couldn't understand it because I didn't have a job. I barely had funds. I didn't. Even, I don't even think I had a bank account at the time. Um, didn't have money for class. I, I took a loan out. Um, Fortunately, because Langston is a small HBCU, uh, I was able to get the hookup at the CAF, and so I was able to get meals during the day, but on the weekend, I was stuck. But it was during that time at Langston University in the summer of 1996, where I truly believe that God took me through that wilderness experience because I felt like my life was on the trajectory of failure. But it was in that moment, I think that was the turning point for me. It was in that moment during that time at Langston University that God put me on the right path. And I'll never forget it because it was it was a miracle to me because, like I said, I didn't have money for the book for my college algebra class in Miss Showalter's class. And she was not given any handouts. I, passed, I remember passing college algebra with a B. So I finished that that summer semester with a 3.0, and um, I was I was I was amazed. It was a miracle. Like I said, math is not my strongest subject. I don't even like math. Even now to this day, I do not like math. But God, it was a miracle. God allowed me to pass that class. Um, the van that I had, the minivan that I had, broke down. Summer classes were over. 
I had to get out of the dorm room. I didn't have anywhere to go. And, and people don't know this. I don't even think I ever told my wife this. I slept in my van for weeks because I didn't have anywhere else to go. I slept in my van for weeks and God allowed me to have that wilderness experience. It was a humbling experience. It was probably one of the lowest times of my life. And even to this day, I look back on it and I'm grateful for every, every tear that I cried, for every meal that I missed, and for every sleepless night. What the enemy meant for evil, God worked it for my good. And I'm sure he'll do the same thing for you. Some of you right now are probably at the lowest point that you've ever been in your life. Some of you are probably struggling. You probably don't know what tomorrow may hold. But I want to encourage you today because I was at that lowest point in my life as well. And I had to seek God like never before. Now, sometimes I had to say to myself, God, I don't know what today holds, but I know you hold my day. And I want to encourage you, if you are at the lowest point of your life, continue to be who God has called you to be and do what God has called you to do because you never know. He's humbling you and he's preparing you for your next season.